ever wondered how you can make a globe map so in this video we want to see how we can make a map like this for the globe view and how you can center it to any area you want and you and and with this map you'll be able to share it anywhere in this we're going to use a plugin called the globe builder to design and build this map using free data or any or any other data that you have so to do this we need to go to plugins manage and install plugins and under this we are going to search a plugin called the globe builder so just type globe builder install this plugin and once you have installed it you will be able to find it under here it's called the globe build uh, view so what i'm going to do let me remove everything so so that we can start uh, the whole thing uh, afresh good so once you have installed the plugin click on this uh the bl uh, the plugin itself the globe builder and under here you will see this window pop up so what we need to do, we will first need to load our data. Alternatively, we can use the, uh, the, the already existing data sources for the countries uh, in, under this uh, resolution. We can allow grat uh, graticules, but for this, I'm going to use my own uh, layer for the world boundaries. I'm just going to drop and uh, drag and drop it to the canvas. So before we start uh, building the globe, the first thing I need to do is I want to style this uh, to use uh, instead of just being the same color I can change and maybe classify and categorize them uh, based on the region so I'm just going to click there and then classify once that has been done you can see now we have a map showing different regions of the world so my interest is to to show where Kenya is on the globe so this is where I zoom into. This will be used later in the plugin. So once we have done this, the next thing we need to do is go back to the globe builder. Under the data sources, I don't need now to load the countries because I already have the a country shape file. But if you have you had you have any other data source, uh, you can still do the same thing. And if you want the countries to be there as well, you can as well check them on. But since I'm using the same data set, I'm not going to do that. The graticules, do I need them? Yeah, maybe I can check that on. Uh, let me expand this just a little bit. You have the Sentin Sentinel 2 cloudless data set. You can check them on if you want Sentinel data to be on your map, but I do not want them uh, there. For the projection, the globe uses are uh, as good all orthographic. There are other uh, projections, but this is the best for the globe build, builder. Uh, so we, we need to center this uh, data somewhere on the globe. You can either enter the coordinates if you have them, but I'm going to center them at the current view, which is this. This is of my interest. Also, you can do using the layer, but I, let's stick with the center of the current view. So let me scroll down. And also you have the option for geocoding and based on this attribution, you can see that uh, it uses op OpenStreetMap nomination uh, geocoding API and there are some things you need to uh, be keen on, especially uh, on how many requests you can make uh, per second. But let's stick with the current uh, view of our map. So under visualization, uh, let me select the background to be white. You can change it, but I prefer it being white. The halo type, let's let it remain halo, no fill. And uh, the layout, of course, we don't need to change that. Just to keep this simple, these are the settings you need for you to generate the globe, uh, the globe uh, map. So once you are done that, just uh, click on add the globe to the map. And you can see we now have the globe. So let's zoom out. And this is our globe map. You can see we have added graticules 
uh, based on the settings that we checked up here if we if we don't need these uh these graticules then we can un we can uncheck it and you'll have a different map without these so this is how guys you make these maps and you can share them with anyone so we can you can even add the 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 oceans by adding the base map so we go back to web uh is it where it's web i think this plugin is disabled so i'm just going to enable it quick fast real fast i'm going to go back to plugins and also if you have not installed this plugin for base maps just search quick map quick map services yeah it was unchecked turn it on and once you turn it on it will be available to give you the base map so under web you'll find it and now let's add uh, the osm so if we add it it should be able to be added to the globe and there here you have it you can see now these are the oceans surrounding the surrounding the the the, the data that we added so guys go ahead give it a trial and let me know how it goes Thank you for watching this video please like the video subscribe for more related gis content thank you